two children and their father are recovering this evening after they were hit by a car while walking to school in Southeast DC today on National Walk to School Day. Police say this happened just before 930 in the morning. It was Wheeler Road and Mississippi Avenue where it all happened and our Megan Rivers is there now live and Megan we understand the driver of the vehicle that hit them. It was a Jeep and that person stayed. Yes, police tell us that woman did stop and she cooperated with police after that accident scene here right now. The only thing left that you can see from that accident is the spray paint that authorities were using while they were investigating earlier. Right here appears to be those tire tracks where the Jeep came up on the sidewalk and it stopped over there. And we saw that woman uh, that Jeep rather parked over there for the majority of the day. This is a very busy, busy intersection and tonight neighbors are very concerned. They tell me that cars kind of speed through this area often and that's that's why you see speed bumps that have been installed recently up and down Wheeler Road here in the last few weeks and months. But tonight neighbors say more needs to be done so this doesn't happen to another person. Wheeler Road walk sign is on to cross Wheeler Road. This is the sound you hear when it's time to cross the street. A clear indication that you have the right of way to walk. Walk sign is on. Despite following all the rules, two children and their father were all hit by a Jeep. They just fly down through them, both sides. I'm sorry for them kids. I'm sorry for the family. Robert Scott, who people in the neighborhood call Scotty, says an accident like this one we saw today was bound to happen. I've been telling them for a year to put a cam in that box. This is the route police believe the woman driving the Jeep took. There's a speed bump roughly 50 yards away from the stoplight. They say when she made this left turn, she hit the family. It looks like the pedestrians were in the crosswalk and they did have the right of way. The driver's been around, stuck around. We do have the information. Um, investigation is continuing to progress and we're expecting an arrest at some point. Forensic teams spent the day investigating the tragic accident. Much of the area was blocked for hours. The three who were hit by the Jeep were taken to the hospital with what police say were non life threatening but serious injuries. We just need to slow down and be mindful and pay attention to our surroundings. Tonight, we know that that woman is facing a number of charges, including driving without a permit. Her name has not been released to us at this time, nor has the name of those two children and their father. A fourth person was taken to the hospital from this scene, but that person was not hit by the Jeep. Another thing we know is that ANC Commissioner Salim Odoff, Adolph rather, sent out a note to DDOT just a month ago about this very intersection, about how busy it is and how dangerous, is, dangerous it is for people who are crossing in this area. Area. DDOT responded to uh, them in saying that it would take about 130 days to do an investigation, a traffic study in this area. But that's 130 days too many for people who are living in this community. So we will continue to follow this story and bring you any updates on air and online as soon as they're made available. Reporting live in Southeast DC tonight, I'm Megan Rivers. I'll send things back to you all in the studio. Yeah, the irony, all of this happening on a day that was supposed to illustrate the safety of being able to walk to school. And then we hear and we see the reality for too many people in our community. Megan, thank you. Zoe?